Howdy everyone and welcome back. So this is going to be the part two video of the catch clean cook that I did with Boomhauer from Boomhauer 2017. What's up? We did the catch and the clean on his channel. What is up? It is Boomhauer. I've got a gang of people out here fishing. We're out here fishing. This is part one of uh, catch clean and cook. I caught a big ass fish. As of right now, I'm the only person who hasn't caught a fish. So check out that video up here. And we're gonna go do the cook on my channel. We got a recipe that is probably pretty new for a lot of you and it's kind of new for me, but we're gonna find out how it works and see how it tastes. You ready? Yeah, I'm skeptical about this, but I'll, 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 let, you, I'll let you do it. I'll let you do it. Let's do it. Just pulled in to Wally World. We gonna get our stuff. Oh, Walmart, as everybody else calls it. The, the Walmart. <laughs> the Walmart. It's the Walmart. <laughs> so we're gonna go in. He's gonna tell me what, I have no idea what, what we're doing. I just came along. But he's gonna tell us what we need, so. I'm scared now. <laughs> you are. Right. So the first and probably the most important ingredient in this recipe is salt, and we're gonna need a lot of it. So I'm using sea salt for this. You can use kosher salt, but just don't use table salt for this. You need one of either sea salt or kosher salt. So we got that, let's go get the rest of our ingredients. So after the salt, what you're gonna need is a pan to put these on. You just need some kind of cookie sheet, anything like that, just big enough to fit your fish. And we'll be putting all the ingredients on top of this. So let's get the rest. So to cook this up, we're gonna need some olive oil to go with it. And it's just a little bit for a drizzle and to kind of coat the inside of the fish. But we'll get more into that in a bit. As far as fresh ingredients go, for this recipe, we're gonna use dill, lemon, and garlic. You can change that up if you like other herbs like rosemary or thyme. But for this, my favorite is just some good dill, garlic, and lemon. So we're gonna add that and we're gonna keep going. And to go along with this recipe, we're gonna have a side dish. And we're gonna use some of the ingredients we already have to make it. So it's just gonna be easy to do and it's gonna be delicious. So the last thing we're gonna get today is we're gonna get some eggs. And that should be all we need for this recipe. So let's go get cooking on this. All right guys, well you saw our shopping adventure. We've got all the ingredients laid out here. We're gonna start prepping things. He's got, he's got him a heck of a knife to cut veggies. But no, that's a knife. <laughs> but now we're going to get everything ready and prepared and I'll show you what we do along the way to both the veggies and the fish. So let's get cooking. Okay, so you're going to want to start out with preheating your oven at 400 degrees. 400 degrees. We got to wait for that to heat up. So let's go get our fish ready. So the recipe we're actually going to make here is salt crust crappie. I've never done this with crappie and I've never seen people do this with crappie yet, but you can do this with any white fish. And I'll show you as we go along. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make kind of a salt crust concoction to where we're gonna lay that on the pan. We're gonna coat our fish in that. It's gonna be its own little oven inside the oven. It's gonna keep all those flavors and that moisture into that fish and it should be delicious. So here we go, we're gonna get started guys. So what we have here, we have about three and a half, well three and a quarter pounds of salt, uh, maybe a little more, a little less, but we have Egg, one one egg white in here and a little bit of salt. We're gonna or a little bit of water. We're gonna mix this up to where it's like beach sand. And you probably want to pour. We'll probably need to put more salt in this because it's gonna be a little soupy now because I was pouring too much water and not thinking. <laughs> it I had a lot too much water. <laughs> a lot. Learn from me. Pour water slowly into the salt. Pour it slowly. So I'm going to try to get this a little bit better here. We're trying to soak up some of this, some of this water. I poured a little bit too much water in there. That's what happens when I, I get to doing things and trying to think at the same time. Here we go. This is more what we're looking for. You want this to be like beach sand, like if you're going to build a sand castle. That's what we're looking for. Probably a little bit more because it's a little soupy, a little slushy. A <laughs> little slushy. It feels like, feels like slush right now. We need to keep soaking up that water. But this is kind of what you're looking for. Probably a little drier, so we'll 
Add a little more and that's what you can do if you get a little too soupy or it's still a little too dry you can always add more to it so be sure to keep getting be sure to get more ingredients than you need in case you need it because if I hadn't had that extra thing of salt right there this would have been messed up. We have really been in trouble. It's looking like beach sand now though. Yeah it's this is what you're looking for you're looking for this beach sand consistency so note to self always have extras in case you mess up always have extras because i will mess things up he's regularly just, he's just salty oh oh <laughs> oh that was good we got puns going on here is that a preview for a maybe maybe future video maybe maybe have a maybe. pun challenge there may be a pun challenge in the future there may be and that'll probably be on his channel, so stick around. It may or may not happen. We'll see what we get to. Yeah, we'll see how much college takes over our life. So we got our salt mixture all made up here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the pan. we got to put a layer down on the pan. Okay, so we're going to pat out a layer here on the pan. Just about, just enough to where it's, I, I wouldn't say I'm really getting a precise measurement out here we're just wanting a good kind of maybe eighth of an inch thick layer something okay. like that we have our fish friends here that we caught on our fishing trip on Boomhauer's channel on Boomhauer 2017 I'll leave the link for that down in the description I have it up here too but now we just take our fish and we actually gonna have to pat these dry with some paper towel and you want to pat them dry on the outside as well as the inside so we'll do that and we'll get to you in just a second For these fish, since their cavities inside aren't as deep as like a bigger fish would be, like a bass or a sea bass or a striper or something like that, we are going to cut these into a little bit smaller pieces. But all we do is you go along, get your fish, stuff some lemon in there, you're going to get a little bit of dill. Dill and lemon always go good together. We're going to put that down in there. See if some more lemon will fit. Just a little bit of dill. It's gonna be good, y'all. Mm mm, it's gonna be good, y'all. Mm mm, gonna be good, y'all. We're getting it. So we're gonna do this with the rest of the fish, and then we're gonna do the next step. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna have boom here do the top of the salt crust. What you're going to do is we're just going to pile this on on top and kind of mound it. We're going to create a dome on top and it's going to hold in that moisture and hopefully all the flavor and the moisture that's in that fish and make it delicious. We'll show you what it looks like once we get done. So we got everything all coated here. We got our veggies ready to go. We probably needed a little bit more salt but we're going to see if we can make it work. So we're going to get this in the oven, we'll watch it cook, guys. So it turns out this oven, since we put it on the top pan, or on the top rack, these are actually done. If I put them back in there anymore, these are going to be overdone. So they just about right, huh? We tested them? So good. Oh yeah. So good. Boom! Get out of that! Oh, it's so good! He's eating it all before it's even, the fish ain't even done. He's over here eating all these oh, veggies. It's so good. Oh my God, it's so good. This guy, all you ladies out there, you know how to get him, know how to get him all excited now. Okay, moment of truth here. You gotta take it out, see what happens. It's gonna be hot, so be careful, boom. Can you hear that? It's hard, so. It's hard, so. Moment of truth, it seems like it swelled. It may have, who knows? I think it did swell. It may have. This is what it should look like when it comes out though. Yeah, well we hope anyway. This is this is how, it's all going to plan so far. So far, we're like just been hoping with this thing that yeah, we're we, doing right. We've been worried. <laughs> yeah, he's been over there eating and it's like I'm waiting on my firstborn child over here to be, to be born. 
and we're going to see what happens. If it turns out good, it was a success. If not, you may see a different ending to this video. We may be eating chicken. Here we go. We're going to break it open, hopefully. Yo, that's like actually really... Just try to get it out in big pieces if we can. I think it worked. <laughs> Do we? Is it alive? It's alive. I think. Yeah, that's done. Yo. Do we have success? So we found out the reason. We forgot something when we did this recipe. We forgot to put olive oil on the outside of the fish. It still tastes great. But I think that olive oil is so it will peel off a little bit easier. That may be the thing. But that was my bad. I got in the moment and I uh, forgot to add the olive oil. So I'll know for next time though. We'll do this again. We're definitely going to do this again. And maybe we'll do better next time. Beautiful that fish. That's really good, yo. It's, it's, it may be a success. We won't know. We won't know yeah. until the taste. How is it, Manny? The fish is incredible. First reaction. Whoa. Dude, that's really good. That's very good. Wow. Get a fighter jet. That's amazing. That's amazing. I can't even explain how good this is. I've been eating like fast food for like the last month and a half, it seems like. This is absolutely amazing. You can taste the dill, you can taste the lemon. All right, so we got it all here. We're gonna get a little taste here. So if you start down low and put it halfway through, you can pull the fish right off the bone. It just flakes right off the bone, you, you see guys. That? It just rakes right off. It just falling apart, you guys. All right, let's get a taste. It has a great flavor, doesn't it? That's awesome. It is amazing. That is good. This is great. That's the fun part about this. This was the first shot at this. I've seen it done. I know how to do it, but this is the first time I actually did it. So it's only going to get better from here. So boom, I don't think I have to ask you what your favorite part was. These are so good. Oh my God. Well, I'm not going to make it. You're amazing. And the little pieces of garlic, you can actually eat. So what was your favorite part here? Yes. Yep. So. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was that the fish turned out and was done. I was like watching this, like thinking it wasn't going to turn out, but I know things I need to do different. I know things I can change, but the fact that it was done, that it was a success and it was edible. That was my favorite part. And plus the broccoli and everything's good too. Hey Manny. You want to say what your favorite part was? What was your favorite part? The broccoli. Period. Oh, broccoli. Yeah, broccoli he, see, oh, I still see. got one more. <laughs> He's on board with me. The broccoli was the best part of all of it. It was all good, but the broccoli is always the best hit. Always. Always. See. Well, I finished my plate. Looks, you can see all the bones left off. Eric, on the other hand, has finished his as well. I finished. It was delicious. So, they, uh, you told me that this was your first ever whole fish eating it like that. Yep, I've never eaten a whole fish head on and like taking it off the bone. You gotta be careful of those bones down in there. They, they will stab you. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. They will get you. So, I'm just going to finish up this. We got some more broccoli, some more Brussels sprouts to eat. So, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you have any more questions for me on what we did on this process, what we did wrong, or anything like that, leave them in the comments. I'll answer those. I'm going to leave the link to this recipe down in the description as well. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you can be there when all the new videos come out. And until next time, I hope you'll join me right here on The More You Grow.